everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Drakengard 2 Weapon Stories. This time we're here for Magi Sorrow, another weapon from Drakengard 1, but this one I didn't do a weapon story on when I did the original Let's Play of Drakengard 1, so we'll do that one first before we move on to this one's story. Far, far to the west was a land of magic, governed in peace by the 500 wise magi of the council. In both night and day, the streets shone, and the people lived free of fear or hard labor. One day, the 501st Magi was appointed to council. He was only a child of ten, but so great were his powers and his intelligence that within two years and fifteen days, he was made leader of the council. A genius of magic, but also a boy of twelve. Fears assailed him, and bewildered by a life without meaning, he transformed himself into a crystal that would exist for all eternity. The stone set in this staff possesses the soul of a gifted young magician. An ordinary human life did not interest this boy. In search of a higher spiritual place, he summoned all of his strength and turned himself into a stone, wishing to live in this world forever. One day, he learned that his owner was a beautiful stateswoman. He loved her so, but as time passed, she grew old and died. Even the streets and houses and trees that he loved inevitably grew old too and turned to dust. Sorrow consumed him. As a stone, the young magician could watch people's happiness as well as their misfortune. But as a stone, he could not share in their joy or lend them a helping hand. All he could do was mourn alone. Will the boy ever be released from the burden of his rashly garnered immortality? Will time heal the wounds of an immortal to whom time is a stranger? Or will you, perhaps, lead him into the light?